Hi guys and welcome to First Time Fishing with me Big Bird. We've come to beautiful Tunnel Barn Farm and today we're going to go through some easy steps on how to start fishing in the margins. Some people overcomplicate things at commercials but I'm going to try and show you today exactly how we can just be fishing almost with a top kit section. That's it and we're going to catch some beautiful fish and hopefully it's going to show you you don't really need to fish complicated. Anybody can go down to your local commercials and you can fish and you can catch fish. So first of all, I'm gonna show you quickly how we just plumb the depth. That is getting, making sure that your hook can get right on the bottom so you haven't got excess line on the bottom or you're not sitting short and the fish will look at it and go, well, well that's not natural. So let's go over to the edge and we'll show you exactly how to plumb up. So this is where we're gonna be fishing. You can see my plummet there. This is exactly where we get the spot. So find the spot that you're gonna fish we're going to drop that plummet into the water and we're going to be feeling for the depth. Now I can feel that that is on the bottom but you can see that the float is nowhere near the water so we need to move the float down. So I've moved the float down and we're going to go exactly in the same place where we were and as you can see we're still too high. So I've adjusted the float one more time and if we dip it in we can see that our float is just above the water what we need to do is move it down just another inch. Now I've moved it down that further inch and our float is sitting perfectly just below the ball of the float. We're now ready to start fishing. So today's bait that we're gonna be using, we're gonna be using these, okay? These are micro pellets, two millimeter fishery pellets. Okay? What we're gonna be using for those is we're just gonna be sprinkling those into the area that we want to fish. They're full of attraction. And then what we're going to be using on the hook are these. These are six mil pellets. Slightly bigger, just to stand out, just so those fish want that bait. Now let's go through the rig. From our Dacron, we've got 019 N-gauge mono line. Coming down to a Preston Edge 4x12 float. You can get these in any of your tackle shops. And then what I've got is I've got my section that I've plumbed up. That is my length. And underneath, for a four by 12, I've placed on five number eight shots. But I've placed them all quite low in the section of my rig so that I can get this bait onto the floor as quickly as possible so that we can get the fish as quickly as possible. There's no point in the edge and in the margins in having your bait float through the water so it looks so natural. Let's just get it down on the ground and let's get catching some fish. So let's stick a six mil pellet on the end of here and let's get in the water. So we've got our top kit section out. I'm just gonna put one more section on. And where we're fishing is over here. I'm literally gonna dip my rig in and a bite straight away. Now watching the float, watching for that float to go under the water. We know that we're at the right depth. We know that we've got micros in there to try and attract the fish. And we're simply waiting for the bait to be taken by the fish. And we're in. That didn't take long at all. As you can see, the elastic stretch in. We're going to bring our pole back, break off our top section. So the fish is getting tired now. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to move towards the fish and pull the elastic out and block that with our finger. And that's going to give us a little bit more tension for this fish. We're going to get our landing net into position see if this fish is ready to come up. All the time while you're playing this fish, make sure that there is tension on the line. Otherwise, with these barbless hooks that we have to use at commercials, there's a possibility that this has come out the mouth. All the while that I'm playing the fish, I can keep having a look over to where I'm fishing. I can still see activity down there. If I'm struggling for a bit of activity, I could just throw a few micros out. But this one's been very, very stubborn.
and there is an absolute beauty and that is what we come to Tunnel Barn Farm for and those are what you can be catching in the margins. She's an absolute beauty. Straight away, straight on a bite within seconds of putting it in the water. Right in the top lip. What a beauty. One for the future. There's something playing with it here. Something swimming around it. I can see my flute, my, my float bobbing up and down. Side to side. Now without spooking the fish. I'm just going to reset my bait because sometimes dropping down your bait again means it gets noticed by the fish. And we're back in. We're back in. Look at that go. This is why we come to places like Tunnel Barn. The F1 fishing. It's taking quite a bit of elastic there. I'm not sure I'm going to bring him in too I'm not going to take it off to my top kit too soon now. But you can just see how simple this fishing is. How simple it is. Just going straight into the margin. All I'm doing is sprinkling some, some micro pellets in there and fishing over the top of them. Not even using a cupping kit to put it in. Just a little sprinkle brings them in. And we'll see how big this one is. I'll play this one and we'll come back to filming as I'm landing it. He is. Yes. What a beauty this is. Absolute. Right in the side of the lip, which shows exactly we have got our depth right in the margin. That little hook out. <laughs> Let's get him out to show you. What a mirror. What a stunning looking mirror carp. Again, in the margins, it's simple fishing, six mil pellet over some micros, and you can't go wrong. It's just absolutely, absolutely stunning. Absolute beauty. down to your local commercial fisheries and you can just do this you can just set up your own pole a whip or anything and you just got to put some micros in fish over the top of it as long as you get your depth right you can have as much fun as you want it's absolutely brilliant anyway get back get back round here so you can come and see me land this one Superb. Let's get him out and have another look. And there is oh, a lively, beautiful, common F F1, F1 hybrid from Tunnel Barn Farm. It's beautiful to finish on this and what a lovely day we've had fishing in the margins it's been simple simple fishing and i hope it gives you confidence to go out yourselves and go and fish in those margins to be getting lumps like these it's simple enjoyable fishing well that's all we've got time for on first time fishing thanks for watching <laughs>